Welcome to Welcome to Hell, the podcast for sinners, where you send us your tales of iniquity and we offer our infernal judgement. So you died, get over it, we have. You honestly think you're the first one to be killed by a hairdresser and turned into a pie. Peel off that crust, throw a shilling to Mrs Lovett, and make your way through the fiery gates for a good old fashioned gossip with me, Daniel Fox, comedian, liberated mannequin and Hell's resident receptionist. And me, Dane Buckley, comedian, tea slut and lapsed angel. Darling. Darling. Tea slut. <laughs> yeah. Really like that. Um, guess what? What? It's another very special episode this week. We have a new arrival. I can hear someone strutting towards the abyss. Can you? I can. We're going to find out all about their naughty little sins and process them through the unholy gates. But first of all, why don't you tell us about them, Dan? Well, I will. Thank you very much. Our guest today is a comedian. An author, a podcaster, a general multi-hyphenate talent from Denmark. They burst into the public eye after winning the prestigious Best Newcomer Award at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival 2015 and have gone on to tour multiple critically acclaimed sell-out shows around the UK. They have hosted hit podcasts such as BBC Sounds Bad People and Made of Human, have written books including Happy Fat and the soon-to-be-released Will I Ever Have Sex Again, and will soon be on tour with their new show, Bang Lord. Serve up the salt licorice, bust out the good lecker, <laughs> and welcome to hell, Sophie Hagen. Hi. It's so weird when you nice to me i know you've had to be because you had to introduce me so you had to say facts about me which are nice yeah. but it's very strange yeah me uh sophie and i are good friends most of our whatsapp conversation is me being lightly mean yeah yeah and i'm being direct and you're being directly horrible mean. yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm being like subtly politely mean and you're being danishly oh, mean. yeah i don't, I don't <laughs> pick up on it when you're politely mean yeah no you just it's only tend. when you write can I swear on this yeah, one? Yeah, oh my god, yeah. When you write, fuck you, you bitch. You stupid fucking bitch. I'm like, okay, um, now I get it. I think he might be mad. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Uh, very traditional in hell to always have a cocktail in yeah. our pause. Will you be joining us? I will. Then everyone Dan, you're going to be mother this week, aren't you? Yes, I'm being mother this week. Does everyone that mean we have to suck it from your tit? Suck it from this little <laughs> metallic tit, which is our very, right. uh, very, very mask. This Diamante. has got a lot of love online. These, these yeah, people are loving these. Have you made them uh, yourselves? Yes. yes. No. I yes. wish I had. No. I wish I had. No. no. These no. Off you of, would do. Um, so everyone taste and see what you mean. Uh, I'm calling this a white devil. A white devil. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Strong. Too much cinnamon. No, there's no. no such thing as that. Too much coffee. Too much coffee, and do you think? Alcohol? Yeah, it is a cocktail. Oh, there's a lot of vodka in that. This is, yeah, I this like, is. It's like hand sanitizer, isn't it? But with like. I, you know, I hate to mention I'm a super taster. I feel like coffee is the one coming through too strong for me. Yeah, I'm not that's getting too true. much coffee. Gosh, Sophie just agreed with me. I don't know I'm if getting you heard too much that Sophie vodka. agreed. So. Oh, I've made I'm a bad getting, cocktail. But to be fair, so. I get too much of everything. I think there's not a lot in this <laughs> I would like more of. <laughs> it is Bailey's. It is essentially a white Russian. This is not Bailey's. There's Bailey's. I can swallow a gallon of Bailey's in a second. It is it Bailey's. Bailey's. It is vodka. It is espresso. And yeah. it is cinnamon. How many espressos? Six between two. How much Bailey's? A e teaspoon. Equal amount of everything. It's an equal amount. Espresso, Bailey's, vodka. Mm. Daniel. You know how you love being surprised on a thing that you've organised? Yes. Well, I Sophie's reaching down into a bag. <gasps> oh my gosh, have you? Well, it's not a cocktail. <laughs> but it is a drink. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. From Denmark. Wow. That I want you to Blah. taste. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put it down very gently. Ga how would I pronounce Gayol. this? Gayol. Gayol. Um, Gayo like a cock. Gayo. Gayo. <laughs> Gayo, come over here, love. Because that is drink. ten times better than this. What is this? Okay. I don't know, but Shit. please let's try it because this is this is no, like. No, no, so no. It's, but the thing is, it's a shot. You have to take shots of it. It's a I'm shot gonna, thing. I'm going to shot it out of the lid. Are we allowed to do that, Yanis? Lads. No, but don't okay. say anything. Okay, I'm only having the tiniest amount. Absolute lad. Just That's drip, a pagan tradition. Give some to the floor. Yeah. Oh, it. Get it in there. It's quite medicinal. <laughs> is it licorice? Said the vicar to the other vicar. Gosh. Okay, it tastes like cough syrup, which I love. It's licorice. It's licorice I'm and vodka. Oh, yeah. Well, it's really nice. And it's, and it's so good that on the bottle it says in Danish, um, licorice for a, uh, with vodka for adults. <laughs> for adults. Oh, in good. case kids wanted to take a, a Bring her over. Uh, I'm going to walk it around today. I definitely yeah, tried some in our house before, but I don't know if it was this brand. But it's a big with students, right? It was, it was the... Shit, when I was a teenager. Yeah, just swig it from the bottle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just take it. Just a, be a lad. Just be a do it. Lad. Get it down. 
Oh, you had a lot there. <laughs> it's, I went a bit too far. I'm showing off. It is very like... Oh, no, I like it. I like yeah. it as well. Yeah. Because it's like a liquid version of Fisherman's Friend. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Vodka and Fisherman's Friend. Which you know in our community what is used for as a benefit sometimes when you're with a lover. No. Fisherman's Friends with benefits? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you have a Fisherman's Friend and then you meet a married man off an eve. When you go down on him, there's a menthol kick. Oh. <laughs> Do you not know about this? No. Well, yeah. Well, no, are we don't. keeping this? This is like the, yeah, the really you. sort have of it. old school precursor to strawberry lube. Um, oh, you that's... can use it to uh, get rid of the taste of whatever this, I've made this right. shit. Right, I'm putting my hands up. Thank you, up. that's lovely. They're, w they're in this studio. There Sophie is no, knows like, how to make a drink. To measure things, so I've had to really like spitball it. It is more, v I think, with less vodka and more of the Baileys and the cinnamon. So just Baileys. If it was just a cinnamon Baileys. But also, oh, this is cinnamon isn't our Baileys first... is a good call. Yeah. Well, this, that's what this is, just with a bit of vodka in it. Do you know, it's actually not that bad anymore. Well, there's a pint of coffee in it, though. That's the main... Um, Gosh. Okay, we must stop talking about this cocktail because we spent like 20 yeah. minutes on the cocktail. We have some questions my, for you, but... Okay. I've become secondhand drunk from this one sip of... You are going to get quite wet because it is strong alcohol. Yeah. And I've I think, not drunk since 2017. Well, you messaged me after you had one beer at an event. Oh, I was wasted. And you were gone. <laughs> yeah. So I was slurring go stuff. slow. This is... um. I think as the ice melts, this will get a lot more palatable. I, I think actually already like it better. How do you think you died? I died a hero okay. <laughs> with grace and dignity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I died jumping in front of something to save something. Like, so like a train or a bus ooh. to save a kitten or a baby. Yes. A free roaming baby. A charging that ball. That got away. And I save it in my beautiful arms and I hand it to its mother. But then it's too late. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> but here's the thing, and I'll tell you, you this and only you. That's the official story. Okay. I probably died of a heart attack, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> my, my life is 95% like butter and PTSD and stress. <laughs> so most likely that. But I've spent most of my time on the internet uh, talking about how not, not all fat people are unhealthy. <laughs> so we know that that's going to happen because then the trolls will win. Yeah, yeah they'll so love what that. I have told my agent is that when I do die of heart disease, <laughs> he has to tell people. I'll join in. It was a Thank kid you. Thing. She saved my baby! <laughs> yes, yes, please, please. <laughs> and I'll run you over in my car to make it look <laughs> Your body, I'll take you out of the hospital. Yes. I'll ram you in the car. That's what I told him. I said, please when you do find that, but me, the baby is the cat. Yes. No, yeah, yeah. And we know he's going to find me because who else would you never visit, Daniel? <laughs> um, he's going to like grab my body and throw it in front of a train and be like, there was a kitten there. There was a kitten there. And she just jumped. <laughs> um, okay. For the look of the thing, just to keep our funding, we do have to write down some torture for you. Okay. Um, we don't, won't actually make you do it, but we need to know what it would yeah. be. What is your personal idea of hell? So, um, a party. Right, and that's it. You, well, I <laughs> mean, cool that have I ever been at a fun party? No, no. absolutely not. So that could be enough. Uh, I've taken some notes because I wanted to make sure I got everything in. I've tried to envision the worst case scenario. Okay, party, loud music, really, really loud music, and it's like not fun music. You know, there mm -hmm. are some places in London where they play like musical theater. That's fine. Yeah, I can I live with yeah. that. This is like electronica. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No like melody. Techno. Just but, do that but, again. Boo, 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 boo. You know that go song? on, Dan, do a little rap boo, to that, actually, Dan. Because you're so good. Go on, go on. Oh, Gayul, it's the drink for you, Yule. And you drink it down. Okay, I'm not doing this. No, that was horrible. <laughs> um, that was embarrassing, if anything. That's a, okay, I'm adding that to my personal hell. And Daniel, Daniel, Daniel I am the DJ at the party. Yeah. <laughs> DJ and rapper. Wiki, at the wiki. Party. <laughs> and the, the only chairs that are there are either bar stools. Big no thank you. Mm -hmm. That never works out yeah. well. Or those like really low to the ground, soft couches where if you sit down, you live there now. You never get back up. Yeah, you never get back up. And um, I'm in the middle of the room. So people are just yeah. bumping, in, like, bumping into each other like, ah. And also, you can't hear what other people are saying, but they keep talking to you. So all you hear is like, oh, yeah, yeah. and you're like, what? Sorry, what? And they're like, blah, blah. And you're like, what? Sorry, what do you say? Huh? And then you end up just being like, yeah, I've lived in London for uh, 12 years. And they're like, what? And you're like, they're like, I, I said my mum is dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If only that would at least be an interesting conversation. But they never do say something like that, no. do they? They do I... like, oh, it's very cold this time of year. <laughs> I've been at this party. 
I've spent a night at that party, absolutely. And isn't it hell and I once went to a Halloween party that was exactly like that. I was dressed up as a sexy Grim Reaper mm -hmm. and I fell down the stairs. Oh. Of this. It was in like a townhouse. I fell down these stairs really early on in the night because I tripped on my robe and my scythe. And I went like <laughs> flying down the stairs. I like twisted my ankle and it was damaged for like six months afterwards. But because I like stumbled down the stairs, literally rolled down and hit yeah. the bottom. When I got back up and was like, ow, this group of people who I'd never met before, like cool kids, were going like, oh, she's gone, she's gone, that one's gone. I was like... No, I'm quite sober. I've just had a fall. <laughs> were they narrating as you were on the floor? Yeah. Like, were... I'm fine, actually. I'm not gone anywhere. They were like, oh, someone's had too much. It's oh, like, wow. Too much Imagine if you were the Grim Reaper and you came <laughs> and someone had died dressed as you. You'd just be like, you. Oh, no. I was going to say, imagine if I was there to harvest someone else, oh, but I tripped so over my own rope. That's a very scary movie. That's very 90s, isn't it? That's beautiful. It's the actual Grim Reaper going flying and everyone laughing at him. I have so... a few more things. Okay. Um... The only internet connection there is at the party is Virgin, so it always disappears <laughs> and goes away, so it's a, ho a horrible connection. Mm -hmm. You try to get an Uber and you can't, yeah. and there's no, all the trains have left, there are no night buses, there's only Uber or cabs, and you can't, mm -hmm. like, you're like on the app and they go, sorry, there's, n there's none available, you cannot get home. That's a literal nightmare yeah. I have almost every night. And you're very thirsty, and you can only get water in tiny, tiny glasses. Oh, right. You know on like, planes, the ones where it's yes. a cone, yeah. so you can't even put it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. Yeah, that too. Yeah. God, and you then really I'm, thought about it. And this. I'm wearing wool that's like really you're itchy. You're hot. Yeah. And I'm hot as well. It's itchy and sweaty. I would add to that, I've got a huge coat with me, so I'm having to carry it, to but carry it's so it. heavy. And yes. I'm, like, I'm sweating. I can't yes. put it down. And a ba you have a bag on, so that that's the one that people like knock yeah, into. Yeah, you keep so buffing so like, people, and they're like, oh, my drink. No, no, they bump into you, because they bump like into your... But then your, they're annoyed at you. They're also so annoyed at you and they you. hate you. Yeah. yeah. And you can see your dad in the distance, but he keeps getting away. <laughs> <laughs> That's not you. Um, so, Sophie, why do you think the devil's got you on her list? I have no idea. What, you <laughs> what, are, you really? <laughs> what are your worst qualities? Uh, so I'm, um, let me see what I've written down. Oh, yeah. I'm. So I'm uh, always late, but I keep telling people that I'm a very on time person. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, so Daniel, I think this is your list I don't of think your. So. It doesn't. I, I don't. It says here, Daniel like Fox. No, I'm a very punctual person. <laughs> Do you get this thing? I'm, I'm also gay. Okay, so okay. you're always. Oh, yeah, I'm so. so I'm even worse, I'd say, than Daniel. To be fair, I would say That's I'm on impressive. time for what I intend to be on time with. And then we you're do not on time. No, That's not the same thing. Me telling you that I'm going to be there at three, and I'm Means intending five. to be there at five. Yeah. That's then you're still normal. late. I'm early for six. <laughs> and when we're meeting together, then I don't want, I want to be the later one. So I'll be like, if, if I see him coming, I think I'll move out of the way, let him come. I'll come back round. So I'll be the, uh, the alpha late. I can't wait till this podcast explodes in its own toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> you are two very toxic, horrible people. All the people. internal bullying that's happening down here. <laughs> we do go through a phase of fooling ourselves, though, don't we? Should we meet at five? We'll meet at five. We'll meet at five. And it will be 10 o'clock. Yeah. So, yeah. I I'm am... going to do one of those, tell me you don't have autistic friends without telling me you don't have autistic <laughs> friends. When you say five, I'm there at five. I, in, I, in, right, in truth, I have such good intentions mm. that I will turn up on time. And then life, just small things that I haven't planned for get in the way. No. Is that the truth? Yeah, no, because it's I'm not. like, oh, no, it's not. I'm no, ready it's not. to go. And then I'm like, no, oh my God, not. I didn't pick my favorite shade of grey on Farrow and Ball. <laughs> Are you sure? Because my vibe is like, but why should I come? <laughs> On time, my people have been colonized my <laughs> for eight hundred years. I don't have that excuse. Yeah, that's the thing. With you, I'd be like, no, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Dane. I never would ask you to do anything. You colonized about. us, Danish Viking. Uh, get they over it. <laughs> they were good looking colonizers. That's yeah, the well. difference. Yeah, we did you a favor of anything. <laughs> yeah, they helped the gene pool. A few more genes to the pool. <laughs> don't okay, flatter but yourself. What are your worst qualities? Coming straight okay. for me. Okay. <laughs> I truly believe, and I know this is going to make me very unpopular, and I'm fine with people hating me for this because I believe it so much. I believe that plastic straws should come back. Oh. I, I, it's bull, it's bullshit. Even the people who made the plastic yeah. straw get out campaign, uh, they said it actually was never about the plastic straws. This was about like, just making people aware of single use plastic. Yeah. It was never about banning plastic straws from yeah. every single shop in the world. So and I cannot I cannot deal with these metally ugh, the thought of metal on my teeth no yeah, but it's I'm the... not gonna do the bamboo shit that goes mm. into my mouth that's well, the disgusting. paper ones at McDonald's the paper that's what ones. I was gonna say no and I'm not gonna clean when it dissolves in your mouth yeah. I'm not gonna clean a straw who am I <laughs> what ugh. I I would be so now I import them from like 
Chinese You're importing shops. plastic straws? Yes. <laughs> oh, welcome to hell. You're Thank <laughs> you. Which is so much more, which is worse for the mm. planet than if I just could, could buy them in Tesla. Straws with a footprint. Exactly. It's, I make it worse, right? And I pay a lot of money to get it into the country. <laughs> if I had to f- myself punch, potentially kill three to four dolphins just <laughs> so that I would have plastic straws for the rest of my life, I would do it and I think it's worth it. <laughs> Could you have a straw you carry around, like a little case? You open it and you take out your my plastic straw. Yeah, yeah, but then I would get rid of it afterwards. Okay, I don't okay. wash straws. Fuck the dolphins. To destroy it. Oh, what if you had? See, because I think a metal one. There's something quite chic about it. It could be a weapon. How can you even? Could be a weapon. Yeah, a one flute. If you drill a hole it into it, could be a flute. What be... if you bite on it? Well, you don't do that. Yeah, but you, Are you oh, chowing you, down you, on you your plastic straws? He's got a yes. very good technique, generally, for not biting down on. Go on, show us. Gosh, the elegance. <coughs> Three years of drama school, that's amazing. Thank you. That was beautiful. And um, for kind anyone of erotic. listening rather than watching, I, I take my straw in my left hand, I raise it slightly to my mouth. I don't I don't re- lean my neck down. Mm. Yeah, Try audio, to find one of your lips. Audio porn has become quite... A little rattle of the ice. And I place mm. it delicately down. So what would you I say, apart it. from killing dolphins, what would you say are your guilty pleasures? Uh, drinking things out of a plastic straw. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that works. So it's two just, in one. I, I'm so passionate about it, and I really... I hate it, and I feel that we're all we've all. It's people are like mm, yum 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 yum. We no longer yeah. use uh, plastic straws. I'm the yeah. best, and then you buy everything else. You buy is plastic. That's true. No one's questioning that. People are like, oh, I'm just going to get the Saint Bruce bag and this meat and plastic and fruit and plastic and everything else. But, but thank God I didn't use that one straw once a week when <laughs> I have straws. Then you see stuff. the video of the turtle having it pulled out of its nose. And well, I obviously that. haven't seen that, Daniel, have I? Because yeah. if I saw that, I might change my mind. But you could leap straight to that and just use the turtle and suck it through its nose. Ah. That would be much better. <laughs> like a little party decoration. Yeah. <laughs> and then the turtle would have fun too. It We'd all be winning. And then the turtle would... I'm going to say this cocktail has improved. Okay. Yes, you're right. The more water you put into it. I mean, it's improved it. since I've had Sophie's cocktail. Have a bit of it now. Yeah, Give but I feel shake. like this has been the buffer. Yeah, this has okay. been the translator. I think it was just it yeah. needed a little bit more of a stir and a shake. I think we were maybe getting more vodka. Maybe because the vodka you were is getting it in the vodka. My, my truth has been that there's a pint of ex- espresso in there. I call it espresso. We've been through this. Oh, and it's 5 p.m. and you're giving me espresso. You yes, monster. But this is the, hell. The alcohol isn't it? will lower you down. Is that a thing? Is yeah, that science? Alcohol's depressant and coffee is whatever the opposite of that is. So they should meet in the middle and give you a heart attack, and there will be. <laughs> also, I'm so sorry, but it wasn't you. cinnamon; it was cassia, wasn't it? It was cassia. They're yeah. different. It was a ground cassia yeah, rather okay, than cinnamon. Thank you. Sure. Sophie, what is the worst thing that you've ever done that you're willing to own up to on this podcast? <sighs> well, that's oh, that's two different things, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is. Oh, there's a lot of filtering going on. <laughs> Have another sip and just. Forget about that Have filtering. A big sip. And just, the Daily Mail's listening. Just. I think the, the probably the worst one was, but I didn't think it was bad at the time. So that I think that liberates me a bit. When I faked, I faked um, tattooing a guy's name on my body. I sat with him once, and then he got a girlfriend. I was really mad about it because how dare he? And then I faked. I pretended that I got a tattoo of his name, and he really freaked out, and so did she. No, go, how did you pretend? So I wrote his name with like a black marker pen down my arm yeah it was before i already had this tattoo i had the whole my whole arm tattooed so i wouldn't do it again um so i wrote his full name name yeah. surname the whole thing and uh, i then dapped it with like pink lip gloss so it looked like a new tattoo <laughs> oh my god then wrapped it in like cellophane which is also what you do when you get a new tattoo. Yes. and i already had because i'd had a tattoo earlier that day that was what gave me the idea right. so i had the contract you have to sign of like blah blah, blah. did I you don't... have the papaya balm as well that they put on after you know the... i don't know where you get your tattoos there's no papaya <laughs> balm in these in these joints but i, but I had whole, it looked real it looked really wow. real and then oh I gosh, the pre- dedication with the like pink to make it look inflamed. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Artist. And then I pretended to drunk text him. I was like, oh, I'm I'm in the t- I'm in town. Oh what are you God. up to? Uh. And then he wasn't replying weirdly. <laughs> and, then, and then I said, someone you slept with once. Yeah, but it was Good. all night. Right. Okay. okay. And like <laughs> one time, multiple. And he had really, he, he'd really, he'd, he'd fancied me quite a lot. He told me, and then I broke his heart. I said, and his no, thank full you. name is. And <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I, he did once give me permission to say it, but I feel okay. like that's like an ongoing consent thing. He probably yeah. should give me permission again uh, because now I'm doing it on a podcast with like literally tens of listeners. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't know how famous he wants to be, 
but he he said he was in love with me and then I said oh sorry oh, no thank you I'm avoidant <laughs> mm-hmm. and then he got over me and got a girlfriend and then of so course you I'm now into him and wanted to punish him, him for, yeah obviously so I was like sending him like oh people say I'm silly but I don't want to do <laughs> and then I sent him the the contract the picture of the contract and wrote uh oh and then I waited an hour. And then I take and this is like a Friday night, so I took like a shaky photo of the fake tattoo over a toilet because that could be anywhere. Yeah. And it was like blurry, so like it looked like it was taken, you know, at a nightclub or something. And then I sent it to him and I said, "People think I'm silly, but I just miss you." I sent him that, <laughs> <laughs> and then I pretended to drunk, like I, I, you know, when you call Copy someone acting. and you let it ring like once, mm. and I did that like five times, so he would have like five missed calls. I did the same for my Danish phone. He's Danish, Danish phone at the time, and then I. Turned off wow. my phone for uh, 18 hours. <laughs> and when I turned it back on the next day, <laughs> he was like calling me the second I turned it on. And I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> what did you do last night? And he was like, what have you done? And no, the first thing he said was, my girlfriend is crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, worth it then, really. And I was like, what, what is she, what's she crying about? Yeah. This doesn't affect her at all. It's my tattoo. And he was like, what have you done? And I was like, oh, I was like, oh it's fake. Oh, and he was like, no, it's not. And he didn't sh- believe me. So I had to like, wash it off and show him. It's hilarious. Um, did and she I, imagine had the girlfriend and gone out and got one to prove her love? Yeah, yeah. Of you of your name and your middle name. Look, that would be an amazing, neat, cute story for you and the girlfriend getting together. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had the same tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Well, no one else has theirs. They're now like whatever, trying for a kid and getting oh. married and stuff. So I guess that was like, if anything, I brought them closer you together. Did I think that. that is a beautiful story. The yeah. dedication to that. Yeah. And then he married her out of spite. Can you believe it? So just to get back at me. He wants you so much. I think he's into me. What a long game to be playing. <laughs> yeah. I saw I saw him on the street in Copenhagen when I was there the last time and he didn't even look at me. Wow. <laughs> Who's in love now? <laughs> what a move from him. Who's in he's love? He's absolutely begging. He is. Uh, he's absolutely wants it. <laughs> um, okay. Hey. Hey. It is now the 21st century that we're in. I don't know if you knew that. Um, and we believe that the seven deadly sins are outdated and yeah. therefore something we're doing in this podcast is rewriting them. Yeah. Sophie Hagen. What new sin for the modern day would you like to add to the list? Okay, I know I know you're trying to make this, trying very hard to make this a comedy podcast. <laughs> this is not going to be funny, but, but I'm so passionate about it. Okay. Unoriginality on social media, stealing people's jokes, stealing people, like yeah. screenshotting someone's tweet and posting it on your own platform when it's not your tweet and you yeah. didn't get permission oh, and worst. you didn't credit. Just going to quickly change when- something on my Insta. <laughs> I it's so it's like what is the difference between and I know I instantly become that advert in the nineties of like you wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> oh, but yeah. that is how I feel passionately. Yeah. yeah. I am so often tagged by some huge like five hundred thousand platform of people having taken a tweet of mine and gone like agree with you at Sophie Hagen. And then you they didn't... put their watermark on it. Yeah, then they put God. their watermark on it. And it's like you doing like a fun thing. It's like that feeling when yeah, no. whatever. And no. then like a Modium Instant Melt no. account posts it being like, we feel this no. with their watermark on it. Meme accounts, fuck off. It yeah. should be illegal. It should be punishable by death. And then I think it's for my friend so... what that is, a meme account. A meme account. So for oh, Dane's God. listeners, um, this so, is something you might have seen your grandchildren using. You know the intern, intern, internet? Intra, it's like the yeah. old intranet. So you know when um, when you're in the care home and you get one of the nice young people to order you some more jelly? No, or little some boxes more... they carry around. They've with got the little it. glass boxes. And on that, it's sort of like wireless, but you can... <laughs> Navigate around that. Anyway, it's like people... a bulletin board, but it's like all of the people. <laughs> yeah. So, like a meme, it's like a joke that people say. <laughs> like a little say. skit. <laughs> it's a skit. Yeah. It's one yeah. of those little skits. Because didn't you have someone do that one of your sketches, Dan? And you had to be like in the comments had to be like, hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Like people do it all the time. All, all the time. It's so your, normal. Like they save your sketch off TikTok. Oh. Yeah. They post it on their Instagram. Yeah. And then they go like, haha, this is so. Muller light or whatever yeah. and you have to be yeah. like you pay me yeah. <laughs> or yeah. delete it and yeah. Sophie you're saying they tag you so they're not even trying well, to hide sometimes it sometimes they think that they're doing the right thing as long as they then tag right. you but it's like <laughs> no Ask. you can yeah. share this on your stories you yeah. can you can still tell people that it exists 
like like I always and, and I know it's a lot more work but when you want to, when you see something funny that you like what you do is you find the original creator yeah. and it takes a lot more work because sometimes yeah. they haven't shared the thing yeah. on their own platform but most often they have because they know it's gonna it's done well sometimes they ha- you have to post a tweet on Instagram because people are stealing it already or posting yeah. it so you're like yeah. I have to post it now so they know where to post it from you go and you find the creator you find the original tweet TikTok Instagram post, whatever it is, and then you share it into your stories from their profile and you tag them in that story. And people don't. They share yeah. from, even sharing something from a meme account yeah. or when it's not the original creator. Like, if that, unless that person isn't online, no. Yeah. I, I, and it does, it's not, I'm yeah. like the Grinch around. I'm like, get so. It yeah. is really infuriating. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. they actively blur out your name on the tweet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. They crop it. They crop yeah, yeah, it they out. They crop out your name. Hmm. What is. Fully infuriating is the amount of 16 year old, 15 or 14 year old kids who are in their bedrooms making tens of thousands of pounds a year from yeah. running, from curating yeah. their meme accounts. Yeah. And it's not even that. That I can, to a very, very, very tiny extent, like be okay with a bit, but it's factories. Yeah. It's just like, so yeah. people, it's Big like a, an industry just like creating this. It's AI. It's like, yeah. because they're just harvesting. Yeah. Like there are these where it's just like funny cats. And they just steal everyone's viral cat videos and they yeah. put them all into like a minute long bit because that's when yeah. you start to earn money. And it's just people's cat videos. And that and people are like, oh, I'd rather watch 10 funny cats in a row than having to go and find my own yeah. cat. So find your own cats. Find your own cat. People have, have cat. given that cat food. They deserve dream. the money from this <laughs> funny dance. Live your own dream. Follow your own path. Um, Get your own cat. That's my... <laughs> that's my. I think okay. I know the answer that's to this then. But you yeah. say you have to be put to work when you go to hell. We're going to make you work. Yeah. You could be a, a poltergeist. Ooh. You could be a banshee. You could be a backing dancer. Oh, yeah. But who <laughs> would you... A backing dancer. <laughs> A name you used to. <laughs> <laughs> who would you? Who would you horn to possess or just trigger? Okay, so I know this. So this is again. I'm not that funny with this because I'm very angry. <laughs> I so I love, I love ghost podcasts. Right, big fan mm-hmm. of ghost podcasts, and I love Uncanny with Danny Robbins. It's a great podcast. But I've had to stop listening because cynics infuriate me. Yeah, people who because they are so. Not what's the opposite of flexible? Unflexible? Inflexible? Yeah, inflexible. Deflexible? Deflexible. Deflexible. A flexible. They're so a flexible <laughs> that um, they. It's like even if even if someone is like, look at all this evidence that there was a ghost. They're like, well, the mind does play funny tricks, and it's gaslighting. Yeah, yeah. Mm. They're professional gaslighters. It's just like, well, you never know. You could be imagining it, and it makes people go, yeah. Well, maybe it is this thing. Maybe I am imagining things. And that's gaslighting. So I would haunt cynics especially the ones who've been on danny robbins podcast and i would i would be so devious about it i love that and i would make sure that it was like when when they reached a point where they were like this can no longer just be my brain like when they wanted to show it to someone nothing would happen like every time (laughs) every specific time every single night and then one night they're like come and see this nothing do you think they they would nothing do you think they would follow that do you think they would follow their own thing of going well if other people can't see it then it must i must be mad like i tell everyone else or do you think they would throw it all to them and be like no guys it's true because i would love to possess slash haunt richard dawkins and just do things that make him think god is real (laughs) yeah like every time he's like writing god is real like like, writing god is (laughs) real (laughs) like uh anytime he's near a statue it starts crying blood like stigmata i will not let his water not be wine yes people can have massive denial files or people can talk themselves out of anything that's why you have to be really you have to stick with it but i imagine sophie would be really good at being like because you would say this isn't real you would say this is light yeah are you right 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 do you know what i mean i'd be like maybe it's all in your head and the moment he starts going to sleep, <laughs> <laughs> it would also be, it'd be very specific things where it's like, oh, I can't have imagined that. Like, I would really try and, and then yeah. if they once were like, okay, I need to show this to someone, yeah. I would haunt them again, but I would put strings in it. Yeah, yeah. So they, so, so that whoever they're showing it is like, oh, you're faking yeah. this. Yeah. There's, there's a string ghost that makes them feel Cross like it's eye. fake. Yes, yeah, so they're like, you've clearly faked this. And then they, they would lose all credibility because they were like the famous cynic and skeptic mm. who were like trying to fake a haunting. Mm. The but piano starts me. playing. They're like, look, it started playing. But when people check it, you've swapped it in with one of those electric yeah. pianos yeah, that yeah. plays yeah. itself. Yeah. <laughs> but then they're like, I, I never yeah. had that piano. Then I would enjoy listening to Un- Uncanny again. Oh, gosh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. All the cynics were just like, well, maybe. I would love to haunt someone as like a modern ghost. Because I think it would take a lot of the drama out of it if you weren't a Victorian child. Yeah. And instead, like, when they're showing like, up in selfies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just staring up like that. And like, um, when they hit, instead of it being like haunting music, being like one, two, P, 
pick up a shoe in the background. Like, it's oh, always yeah. like creepy. Photo- <laughs> Instead, you're there in the background, like, my baby don't mess around because I'm not for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it would just fuck you up. <laughs> uh, oh, I'd love that. Smack my bitch. <laughs> um, okay. On that note, we do ask our listeners to write in for their confessions and grievances. So, would you like to help us judge them? Yeah. Well, you. No. Referring? Imagine if I just said no. <laughs> we just had to end the podcast there. Okay. <laughs> in high school, there was this very mean girl. Let's call her Caitlin. She'd get pink eye all the time. I remember her saying she couldn't figure out why. One day, we were getting dressed up to make a music video or some nonsense, and Caitlin's younger sister, let's call her Brenda, was helping me with my hair. Caitlin came into the room where Brenda and I were chilling and screams at her that she should go away because no one wants her there, she's so annoying, etc. I was extremely uncomfortable and hurt, and she wasn't even talking to me. After Caitlin left, her sister turns to me with angry eyes and says, Every day, after I poop, I take her eyeliner and dip it in the toilet. I let it dry then I put it back in her makeup brand. (laughs) I had no idea what to say, and I never told Caitlin. Delicious. Well, that explains the pink eye. Yeah. Um, Is she the demon? No. (laughs) I think good on her, on the sister. I love a person done wrong and bring that person down with a delicious, revengeful plan. Yeah. Yeah. Sophie, you're thinking. (sighs) Dipping your sister's eyeliner into the What I want to know... Is other like really serious consequences of that? Could you go blind from poop in your eye? That is a question. I have an admission. Once when I was younger, oh no, quite young, like six, maybe maybe eight. Uh, my brother was really mean to me one day, and I dipped his toothbrush. <gasps> I've never told him this. If he's listening to this, I'm so sorry. You're fine now. Um, I dipped his toothbrush into the toilet and then I watched him brush his teeth with it. I can't remember what he did, yeah. but I remember was thinking it he was so mean. And like empty toilet? It, I mean, yeah, it was. There wasn't you, like, clean, you cleaned the rim with it, though, didn't you? I honest. gave it a little scrub. I can imagine. I did a little did. scrub around the bowl. This is why I don't trust people. Yeah. This is why I wouldn't. I was a child. Yeah, but. But it is bad. <laughs> There's something Dominic about and that both me and this girl do it watching the person use it afterwards. But she does sound like a bully, this sister. She sounds like, so yeah, I she think. sounds like a bully. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine, I'm, what I'm trying to do is find any reason for this to not be fair. And I can't really think of many. But I, I mean, feel like there must there must be a reason why it's not good. But I Going back to words by uh, dipping, essentially just putting poo in someone's eyes, is quite a, a revenge. Yeah. But I'm for it. Yeah. It sounds like we're going not the demon. Yeah. Unless it yeah. could blind them, in which case Sophie is demon. In I which, don't know about human. But thing. also, I, I like... might be like demon, but fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes demon, people are the demon, and we so just say you're coming down, but you can have a cocktail yeah. with us. Because it's also really bad to be a bully. To be a bully. Bullied in school and humiliated. I like a revengeful plan. And me, as someone with green eyes, pink eye make them pop. So at the end yes. of the day. Yes. Well, we actually yeah. both have green eyes. Thank you. Let's just make I, that green. I think mine are slightly greener. I but that's mine not, are actually greener. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that is the big question is, what was the colour of her eyes? That is very good. Because if they were brown, the most... well, that's a matchy match. That's nice. Yeah. That's a matchy match. If they were green, only makes them better. If they were blue, quite blue, scary. Yeah. This is all awful. Yeah. We've done a bad thing. Last but not least, before we process you into the Inferno proper, we do ask our new arrivals to answer a quick fire Hellfire eligibility survey. First answers only. Are you ready? I can try. I'm not very good at short answers. It's either or. Okay. Yes or no, yeah. yeah, but I'm still not good at it. Disneyland or Tate Modern? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's quick fire, hellfire. I'm not good at quick. You Disneyland, me what these. comes to the soul Tate first? Just, just comes not, neither. I would neither. rather die than go okay. either place. My one, Frikadella or Stick Flisk? Oh my God. That is a, hor- that is a horrible thing. How this was my is- pronunciation? It was fine, actually. Okay. Better than anything Daniel has ever tried yeah. to do Danish-wise. Uh, I'm going to have to say frikadella because you can also have them on rye bread. Oh, you can also get steak flesk on rye Both! Okay. You can't have both one or the other. I go. think can we make an exception for that because no. they're both life-changing. They're, they're both so life-changing. life-changing. But you're a vegan this thing. Is but is it, is it in a, a sandwich or is it with potatoes on the side? Is it steak flesk or frikadella. Oh I don't know what either of those were. <laughs> Didn't I know you were epileptic. Okay, Stegger to Flask? Oh, or Fagadella, Fagadella, Fagadella. Yeah. Edward or Jacob? Oh, shit. Oh, these are horrible. This, this is, this is horrible. Okay, uh, uh, Edward. 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 I have to go with Edward. Gangbang or Banglord? Banglord. Clockwork Orange or Desperate Housewives? What was the first one? Clockwork Orange or Desperate Housewives? Oh, Desperate Housewives. Easy. Rye bread? Yes, rye bread. Hank. 
Rye bread. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Ladane. Oh. <laughs> can I go with Daniel Beddingfield? <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Outside or inside? Inside. Apple or onion? Oh, onion. Night owl or morning worm? What the fuck is a morning worm? <laughs> People I'll show you his profile it. later on. <laughs> it's a comedian that we both know. <laughs> 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 Night owl or morning worm? What is morning worm? People who wake up early. A morning person. Oh, I. Oh, uh, You're a morning what worm. What was the first word? I ne- you were never up night past owl. 11 when I'm a texting night you. Pers- basically, night, night person. Night person. Oh, okay. So I don't have to go, go out in the night. No. I'll, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm morning. Sure, morning. Morning worm. Text or phone call? Text. Beat poetry or public hanging? Public hanging. <laughs> Would you punch a child for a million pounds? Yes. <laughs> Sophie Hagen, welcome to hell. That was horrible. Okay. That could be my personal hell, just having to choose between those things. <laughs> that, I mean, that was the most painful thing I've ever witnessed in my so life. Painful. So that is your personal I'm going to have nightmares about everything I went wrong. Sophie is about to go on a combined stand-up and book tour where she will be performing her new show, Bang Lord, and talking about her new book, Will I Ever Have Sex Again? Both of which are absolutely brilliant. Um, that tour is happening in June and July this year, and you can find tickets and all the details at sophiehagen.com. I also have a podcast called Help Hold. Also, I was, Sophie, I oh, there's a page would. coming. I didn't think you would. Also, Sophie has a podcast, Help Hole, which is a brilliant comedy slash self-help podcast where she and comedian Abby Wambar read self-help books and basically have a little book club about them. It is brilliant. I've listened to every episode. I think of it as a sibling podcast to Welcome to Hell. Welcome to Hell, Paul. Um, (laughs) You encourage goodness and growth, and we encourage evil deeds. Sorry for assuming you weren't going to mention it. No, listen, I'm a prepped professional woman. If you liked this, listener, be sure to check back for new episodes every Thursday. And if you want to earn yourself a VIP place in hell, why not subscribe to our Patreon? You'll get extended guest episodes, find out how Sophie Hagen would dispose of a body, and extra bonus episodes every month, with prices starting at just 75 pence per week. Dane, what is a pence? It's what your ancestors bought mine for. (laughs) (laughs) I must actually find that receipt. Um... (laughs) But what we'd love more than anything is for people to leave a little review... Five star minimum. Five star minimum. They six can do a can. six, seven star. Mm. If they do anything lower, you start to age. Spread I, the word. Age. Spread your everything, basically. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> and as always, if you want to submit any confessions or grievances for our infernal judgment, you can write to us at judgment at hellpod.com. Send us a message on socials at the hellpod or use the anonymous form on our website, hellpod.com. Thank you as always to Spotify for allowing us to use their gorgeous studios, to the angels at Auburn Jam for making our music, and to our producer, Yanis. See you next week. Bye. Bye.